Now, we've been talking about what National School Choice Week is, but let's talk more about what it means for parents right here in our state. I talked to the president of National School Choice Week and asked about where Arizona actually stands when it comes to those options. It is National School Choice Week. That means it's a time to bring awareness to the importance of education reform. Now, across the country, more and more families are demanding school choice for their children. But do the parents here in Arizona even know what their options are? Well, let's get some information from Andrew Campanella, the president of National School Choice Week. Andrew, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. Well, let's start out with kind of what is the goal of this week? Sure. National School Choice Week is a series of 16,000 events all across the country. 612 of those are in Arizona. And the goal is to let parents know that when it comes to the K-12 education of their kids, they do have choices. It's also an opportunity to give parents uh, a platform to say, hey, listen, I want more choices if they feel they don't have enough. So let, let's kind of zone in on Arizona and how we kind of stack up against other states when it comes to education um, and our choices. You know, I think Arizona is probably the leading state or one of the leading states when it comes to school choice. Parents in Arizona have more choices than parents in most other states. So there are traditional public schools and a lot of great traditional public schools all across Arizona. One of the best public charter school sectors in the country. There are magnet schools focusing on things like math, science, technology, performing arts. There are uh, full-time statewide online academies, some great private schools that parents can access uh, scholarships to send their kids to if they can't afford tuition. And of course, parents are free to homeschool their kids. So there are a ton of different options for families across Arizona. Well, now that we know that Arizona is one of the top states when it comes to those options, now a parent needs to know how they can actually take advantage of that fact. What kind of advice would you give them? The first thing I would tell parents is if you want to find a new school for your child, if you're looking for a different option, start the school search process for the next school year right now. Don't wait until summer break because if you wait, you'll find that there are fewer options available to you than if you started in January. Uh, so we want parents to talk to their kids about what inspires them and motivates them to go to school. Then we want them to visit schools, bring their kids with them, talk to teachers, principals, administrators, and other parents, and finally make a good choice based on what your feel of the school is, the data surrounding the school, uh, and what your child thinks too. Well, I think that's a great option to, to put in there. Make sure you, you talk to your children and see what their, their focus is and what they're interested in. And now, Andrew, just for a second, I am going to play devil's advocate for a moment. I know some people uh, say that having school choice can actually take some funding away from public schools, and this is why they end up being a, an opponent of this school choice. What would you say to them, or, or how do you kind of off guard that? Sure. So when we talk about school choice, we're talking about all of the options that parents have or want to be able to have for their kids' education. And public schools are an important part of school choice. What we're seeing in Arizona is that a lot of families are choosing traditional public schools as a result of the expanded school choice options in Arizona. So school choice elevates, celebrates, uh, and helps make better all schools, including public schools. In addition, I want to point out that of the six different options I mentioned, types of school choice, four of those are within the public education system. District schools, charter schools, magnet schools, and online academies. They're all tuition-free public schools within the public education system. And if parents and children possibly want to get some more information and see what's out there, do you know of any events that are going on actually close by with us? Well, I know that on Friday at 10 a.m., thousands of people are going to be gathering at the Capitol in Phoenix. Uh, they're going to be uh, celebrating all of the great school choice options available to kids and parents in Arizona. There are also open houses, roundtable discussions, school fairs, you name it, it's being planned during school choice week. In the Tucson area alone, 120 events. Well, Andrew, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out today to kind of educate us, let parents know what they can do and where they can even go to get some more information. So again, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Now, don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.